All praise to the creator, peace and love. So, I was going to call my wife, but I I end up, I've been busy. I've been really busy. It's been, it's been a, it's been a wild day. <laughs> so, I just been focused on the creator and stuff like that. I was going to do a lesson, but by the time I finished doing certain stuff and talking on the phone to a couple of brothers there, you know, it was kind of, well, shoot, it's like, Fib, what time is it, fam? Uh, wait, 11.32. Yeah, see, almost 12, 11.32. So, you know, I'm getting a pen. I actually have a pen and the paper put aside already. And what I'm going to try to do is hear her out and write down certain key points that she brings up. Because I really am trying to make peace with my wife. She's not cheated on me. She's, she hasn't done anything for me to be able to do it. You know what I'm saying? You can't just get a UAD wife and just divorce her or, or all that stuff or put her away. Like... So I can't even do her like that. I wasn't going to do it like that anyway. And I haven't done anything like that. So, you know, so that, that stuff is obviously out of the question. The only reason I have it the way right now with just my name on the D is for my own protection, you know, based on things that happen. And I mean, men, you get what I'm saying. Some women, y'all get what I'm saying. So what I'm going to try to do, again, is make peace with my wife. There's, 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 I know she says, she says, she said to me she's not part of it. But in the, she can say that all she wants, but that's not, it's not how it looks. And um, to any man or any woman that would know the situation, it does not look like that. It doesn't feel like that. So, my wife said that she could make things go away, and I, I'm willing to even put stuff in writing that if she does that, then I will do, I hope, as, I, as much as I can. Um, I haven't stopped the other two jobs yet. I'm, I got to wait for this piece to come in. When it comes in, I guess day after tomorrow, I'll be going day after tomorrow, then I'll go do what I got to do and get all this stuff taken care of. Due to the fact that somebody might have dropped the ball on something. And so I guess I got to, they want me to come up there so I can get it all taken care of. So I got to do that. But I'm hoping that, I'm going to hear her out. I'm hoping she'll hear me out. And me and her can come to some type of a conclusion where all this goes away. And I, and, then, and I can continue trying to help her like I was going to. I really want to try to. I am going to pay for a tent. A big tent. I am going to make sure they have food. You know what I'm saying? That's my wife. I have to do that. I don't want her sleeping in the car or nothing like that because that's not cool. I don't want her doing that. I don't know how long they have to really be in that place they in. I don't know. I hope they get a little longer, but they probably may not. So I still have to do my part. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I left some plants there. So, you know... I left the trees there, although they haven't grown up yet, when I have you. There's a lot of stuff that's planted there. Um, I also plan to put some other stuff over there. But for all that to happen, like she has to really make some, she has to make that go away. Like she she told me that she'd make go away. So she needs to make go away. And like, if she keeps her word, I'm going to keep mine. I'm still going to help, but it feels weird. It feels like the best way I can say from the information and, and, and as far as brothers who and uh, people have been through the same shit that I'm going through right now, that the women, the women in most situations, when they get the help, they screw the dude over anyway. And right now, you know, I don't trust Easy in the first place. And she had to work to get any bit of trust that she got for me. And I guess I did too. And the feeling is from which maybe she don't trust me as much anymore. 
So I guess we have a trust issue going on between the both of us. But like I said, and now y'all all hear it, so y'all know that I'm not trying to do her dirty or nothing because I do mean her well. I, I want the best for her and the two daughters. Um, I just don't want to get a raw fucking fuck boy bullshit at the end of it. And so that's why I'm protecting myself. And I'm, I'm trying to protect anybody who's coming down because I don't want y'all doing no no bullshit. Um, and it really shouldn't be. I really, I mean, this K whole situation shouldn't even turned out to be the way it is. But that's what's going on. I heard somebody say, "Oh, acts speak more than words and energy." No, words is energy, and the words the energy leads to action. But it only leads to acts when people are on the same page. You have to agree to walk together. So right now, me and her are obviously at some type of disagreement. And we need to come to an agreement. Now, what I understand is that she says she'll make it go away. It can go away. Well, my thing is, if I help you, her, then it needs to go away. And she needs to do it and, and keep her word. And because of my trust issue right now, based on the situation and stuff she said to me the other day, um, I feel like I need her to make it go away so I know that is good, so I feel safe to do what I have to do and to get back to building over there and, of course, keep building over here because winter time's almost here and I'm trying to get them into place you know what I'm saying? I'm already in the place, but I'm trying to build. But I want to make sure things built over there, too. Because I obviously know we're going to need both lands for, for the people. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be a decent-sized house. It ain't going to be nothing crazy. The house over there obviously going to be way bigger. So we, I don't know. Y'all just ask the creator to talk to her, to hear me out. And the creator helped me to hear her out so that we can come to in the conclusion that that will be right in the creator's eyes. All right? So I'm letting everybody know probably I love my wife. I'm not on no bullshit. I know, wife, you see this video, I'm not on no bullshit. You know, and I'm not a liar. You know, and for now, I'm going to tell you I'm going to try to do. I'm not going to say I'm going to do anymore. Because I know the shit comes up. Anytime I say I'm going to do something, shit comes up. So it's obviously things are not going the way that I would like them to go. The creator got things going the way the creator want things to go. And some, <coughs> sometimes it's tough. And so I'm just trying to keep focused on the creator and do what the creator want. But I also got to take instruction. And my, I know my wife says, you ain't got a mind of your own. Listen to p people. The fact is, if you look at the scriptures, it talks about the safely and counseling. Men are supposed to counsel together for their own safety. Prime example, my dad gave me a story a long time ago. It's a true story. And this gentleman met this woman. And everybody told that man not to go over there. Everybody told him, don't go over there. All the men. And they counseled him not to go over there. He was being stubborn, but he listened. He did not go over there. Well, to make a long story short, some other guy went over there. And the, and the lady's husband showed up and shot the dude to death. Wow. So, there is safety and counsel. And if you're a man, you are supposed to get counsel from other men. Specifically, other men that's been in the same situation to help you avoid circumstances that could happen. Now, if this man did not listen, he'd be dead. He'd be dead right now. And this man is still alive. So, it ain't about my not having your own mind. It's about understanding that even the scriptures tell you there's safely, safety and counseling. And we always had uh, some type of council amongst our tribes. 
Y'all call it chief, but there were more. It were chiefs, plural, four, five, six, seven, eight chiefs who made decisions as a council. So I'm only doing this stuff biblically, you know. Like I said, I'll pay for her tents. I'm, I want her to have a big one. I don't want them in no car because that's not right, you know. Um, I want people to go to both lands, to be dead honest with you. This is just headquarters. Um, but things have to be right. Everybody, they, all this division stuff for coming against people is not right. And that all needs to cease, it needs to stop. And anybody that's out in the wilderness, well, every group has gone through the same old mess. And that's not okay for our people. I did a lesson on that account probably a couple of days ago. And I, I showed the dude who did a lesson on it too. And it seems, I still see camps on, on YouTube still having the same messed up issues. And people, if we don't get this shit together, we're going to be in some serious shit. This is our last chance to get together. We ain't got long. And it's going to be a fucked up ass winter. Biden already told us what the deal is. Peace and love. It's the calm before the storm.